second question from our thermodynamics. State the second law of thermodynamics and how a heat engine is different from a refrigerator. So in this question, we are going to have a discussion on second law of thermodynamics and we are going to differentiate between what is heat engine and what is refrigerator. So before dealing with second law of thermodynamics, what is the first law of thermodynamics? Think once. The first law of thermodynamics is nothing but energy can be transferred from one form to another form but it can be neither created or not destroyed. Whereas when it comes to the second law of thermodynamics, so what is second law of thermodynamics? The second law of thermodynamics, it states that heat engine, sorry, heat energy cannot be transferred from a body at lower temperature to the body at higher temperature without addition of any energy and also gives a direction of flow of heat. So second law of thermodynamics is nothing but it states that the heat energy cannot be transferred from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature without addition of any energy and it also gives the direction of flow of heat. So this is called as second law of thermodynamics. So we can understand the concept of uh, second law of thermodynamics based upon these two statements. One is Clausius statement and another one is Kelvin Planck statement. So one is uh, Clausius statement and second one is Kelvin Planck statement. Let us have a discussion on Clausius statement. So the second law of thermodynamics according to our Clausius statement. It is impossible to transfer of heat from a colder body to a hotter body without addition of any external energy from the source. So this is second law of thermodynamics according to our Clausius statement. Clausius statement. So the second law of thermodynamics according to Kelvin Planck statement. So what is Kelvin Planck statement? So according to him, it is very impossible to construct or design a heat engine which can completely convert heat energy into it to a useful work done. So this is called as second law of thermodynamics according to our Kelvin Planck statement. So according to Kelvin's Planck statement, it is impossible to construct or design a heat engine which can completely convert a heat energy to it into a useful work done. So this is the second law of thermodynamics according to our Kelvin Planck statement. So heat engine, so what is heat engine? Heat engine is nothing but it converts the heat energy supplied into some mechanical work. So some work is done. So best example for your heat engine is steam engine. So what is steam engine? Before this our electrical trains and diesel trains we used to have steam engines, right? In that steam engines we used to feed into the heat a huge amount of coal to it and water. What happens? This heat is turned, heat and water forms into a water vapor and it forms into steam and runs a machine. So the best example for your heat engine is also a steam engine. Even these days we are using our automobiles, cars, motorcycles are also one of the best example for our heat engine. So what is heat engine? Heat engine is nothing but which converts some which converts some heat energy supplied into a mechanical work or the work done by a machine by using your heat supplied is called as heat engine. In this heat engine, the working body is kept in between the source and the sink. Is, is it clear? The source is at higher temperature and the sink is at the lower temperature. So this is a diagram for our heat engine. See, this is a hot reservoir of temperature T1 which is called as source. Here we are having a working body and here work is done here and on the right side we are having sink that is cold reservoir which is kept at the right side of the working body and left side we are having hot reservoir. So this is called as source and this is called as working body and this is called as a sink. So what is a source? It is maintained at the higher temperature that is nothing but hot reservoir. Working substance. So this is the working substance we are having here in this case we are having two working, working substances. In the case of steam engine, steam is a working substance whereas in the case of diesel engine, fuel vapor plus air is the working substance in order to run this machine. Sink, it is maintained at the lower temperature or at cold temperature. So heat engine is nothing but which converts the heat supplied into some useful mechanical work done. The best example is your steam engines or cars, motorcycles, etc. 
So, heat engine. Heat engine converts the heat supplied to it into some useful work. So, what happens exactly what happens in the heat engine? So, this heat engine is going to absorb the heat from the hot reservoir which is kept or maintained at T1. So, it is going to absorb the heat Q1 from the source. After absorbing the heat from the source, it is going to do some internal work. So, some work is done. After work is done in the working substance, it is going to reject the heat Q2 to this cold reservoir. So, if you see the direction of arrows, it is very clear that heat is transferred from hot reservoir which is kept at T1 to the working substance. After working substance, it has done some work. After doing some work, what happens? It is going to release some heat that is Q2. From working substance, if you see the direction of arrow, it is very clear that the heat Q2 is supplied to the sink that is cold reservoir. Is it clear? So, heat engine converts the heat supplied into it to some useful work. The working substance absorbs the heat Q1 from the hot reservoir which is kept at T1. And what happens? Some internal work is done in the working substance. After some internal work is done, what happens? This working substance is going to eject or reject the heat Q2 to the coal reservoir or to the sink. If you see the arrows, it is very clear that the heat is transferred from hot reservoir to the working substance, from working substance to the coal reservoir. Now, let us find the efficiency of the heat engine. So, it is denoted with like this. So, work done by heat supply. So, the efficiency of heat engine is equal to work done by heat supply. Here, heat supply is Q1. So, what is work done here? See, the heat is transferred from hot engine at Q1 to Q2, which means the efficiency of heat engine is equal to Q1 minus Q2 by Q1. Is it clear? So, can we write the efficiency like this? I am going to split it into two systems. One is Q1 by Q1 minus Q2 by Q1. See, if you take LCM, we are going to get Q1, same thing here itself. So, I am going to split it. So, Q1, Q1 get cancelled. Efficiency is equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. So, this is the efficiency of our heat engine. So, what is refrigerator? A refrigerator is nothing but it is a fridge that which we are going to use in our homes as an electrical appliances. It is also used in our medical shops for storing drugs or medicines. Whereas, in House we use for storing for cold purposes, not to keep the vegetables fresh, milk, everything. So, what is refrigerator? Refrigerator is nothing but even it is also a working heat engine, which works based upon the principle of heat engine. It is, it is also called as ideal heat engine, which works in the reverse direction, which works in the reverse direction. See, when it comes to the refrigerator, the working substance is going to absorb the heat Q2 from this coal reservoir or from the sink region. After doing some work, this working substance is going to delivery or eject or reject heat Q1 to the source or hot reservoir at a temperature of T1. So, in the refrigerator, it is going to absorb heat Q2 from the coal reservoir. If you see here, the direction of arrows are from cold reservoir to the working substance. In working substance, some work is done. After that, it is going to delivery or rejects some heat Q1 to a temperature of T1 to the hot reservoir. It is very clear direction of arrows are from cold reservoir to the working substance, from working substance to the hot reservoir. That is from sink to working substance, working substance to the source. So, what is refrigerator? It is an ideal heat engine which works 
in the reverse direction which works in the reverse direction it is also called as heat pump this refrigerator is also called as heat pump very important point so the working substance absorbs the heat q2 from the sink from the cold reservoir at temperature of t2 so what happens here the working substance is going to do some internal work and some work is delivered so after that this working substance is going to reject the heat q1 to the hot reservoir which is kept at the source hot reservoir at the high temperature of t1 so this is a refrigerator let us find the efficiency of this refrigerator so coefficiency of performance of this refrigerator which is denoted with alpha alpha is equal to heat absorbed by work done so here q2 is the heat absorbed from the cold reservoir that means q2 by w w is nothing but work done coefficient of performance of fridge is equal to alpha is equal to q2 by q2 minus q1 where q2 minus q1 is a work done because as the q2 is a heat which is absorbed from the cold region or cold reservoir and work is done from there a heat of q1 is delivered or ejects to the hot reservoir so that is the reason q2 minus q1 is a work done here where if you see the arrows they are it is very clear that they are from cold reservoir to the working substance from working substance to the hot reservoir so the coefficient of performance of refrigerator is nothing but q2 by q2 minus q1 or heat absorbed by work done 